Hello everyone, welcome back to the Traction YouTube channel and welcome to week 10 of our video series Done and Dusted. Now in this series I'm going to race every single week in the iRacing 12 week season. However, I'm only going to drive one car one time. And we're going to see if jumping from car to car has a negative effect on your iRating by an end of the season is my I rating in the green or red non-scientific type test. So on the previous nine weeks, I've driven mainly cars which I'm competent in and that I like, but now the choices are getting slim. So for week 10, we've had to jump into a car which I haven't driven for about 18 months. And that is the Delara F3 and we're racing at the Nürburgring Grand Prix circuit. Now this is the third attempt today at this race and I failed miserably at the previous two. So qualifying went pretty average, to be honest. We qualified P11 with a 1 minute 50.334, although we did mess up our second lap, so I'm confident we can go quicker. But can we keep our I rating on an even keel in a car that I don't like and I'm not very good in? Well, I won't spoil it, but things didn't go according to plan. The track temp is 20. The air temp is there we 18 go. Celsius. P11. All right, Dave, get ready. Somebody didn't grid in front. Go. Car right. Still there. It's all about survival. Lap one. Still there. Hold your line. He's still there. Car right. He's still there. Still there. Tricky turn that right hander. Still there. Clear right. Good start, mate. Right. We're up two positions already. Wow. But everybody's on cold tyres. Just need to be careful. That. This guy behind going to send it. Left side. Still there. Clear left. Of course he is. Oh Yellow flag. Word. Right, so we're dead last. It's a long race though, anything can happen. So it was the number four car that did that. Loads of time left though. Loads of time left. Just need to catch up to the back of the pack. Then we can try and make our way through. So there's the guy that turned us. A couple of positions up. Four seconds up the road. Nice of him to wait after doing that. All part of the story though, all part of the story. Yellow 
Yellow flag. Why, Jim? The leader's just done a 149.9. We'll have a look at it after the race though, see what happened. I've had to turn the mirrors off as well in the Formula 3, they were just vibrating, really off-putting. Uh oh, I can see smoke. Yellow flag, watch out. I think somebody just locked up I think. So 50.9, so quicker than the guys in front anyway. So you never know. We might get a race in this one yet. I always say I don't mind finishing position as long as you can have a good race. I don't like getting punted. But I don't mind finishing wherever we finish. If we've had a good race. Right, You're getting along the guy in front. The gap is so we've caught up with this guy, all right. There's a few positions right in front of us here, though. The leader has just done a 149. Seven. Fastest lap for Jansen, 149.3. Good little bit of draft now. 18th. It's your best lap in this session. Sector 1 is 0 0.7 off the pace. Too wide. Right side's clear. No one knows. Right, that's one. Still loads of time. Still loads of time. The leader's just done a 149. That chicken's really tricky, the exit. Need to do better around that turn. P17, that lap time was 151.3. On your left. Still there. Clear left. Car left. Car clear left. Well done, Dave. Good pass. Nice front. Yellow flag. Oh. So where we are now, P15. Right, that's better.
Just damage limitation now though. You don't expect to see a car going the wrong way either. So if we can get rid of Samuel pretty quickly. Oh, he's gone. That made life easy. Hey doctors. Yes, yeah, so if we can get rid of Samuel now, they've got clear track. We could chase down a top ten, potentially. New fastest lap for Jansen, 149.2. Not a good, good enough exit. Thirteenth place. That was a one fifty one point three. Sector one is one point two seconds off the pace. We can do here, really. We're stuck. Exit of the left under the top of the hill, I think. Maybe this next left, if we can get a good run out. Enough to pull him off though. Pressure. He'll make a mistake. Left side. Clear left. If you, if you don't block Samuel, we'll maybe survive right, clear right. a little bit longer. Good pass. Right, can we chase down top ten? He did block me then, didn't he? He reacted to my to my move, I think. Downshift there. I didn't think it'd be in the uh, rev limiter. Two point two to Barry. It's got to be the objective now, isn't it? So we're only down one right now. We've got draft. Was 
2.7 seconds to Barry though. What did he do with 50.1? Yeah, he's flying. Top 10 is probably not, not uh, achievable, realistically. Unless something happens. Yeah, he's two tenths quicker than us in that last lap. Too wide down here. On your right. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. Clear right. Bit of a block pass, but we could let him through. P11. Okay, P11, that was a 151.3. Still try and chase that top 10 though. Barry made a mistake there. Lost 7 tenths, I think. So anything can happen. So let's see what Barry did. Yeah, fifty one. That's your quickest so far. There's always potential for somebody crashing out as well in front. Oh, Tyler, where did Tyler come from? Second gear is better there. I prefer a double apex there. A lot of people take a wide entry, but I like to shoot for an early apex and then drift a little bit wide, then bring it back, get a good slingshot out. Quicker this one. We need it to be as well. Tyler's got a little bit of Barry's draft though, unfortunately. But if they catch each other, they're gonna start fighting. Little moment. 
Gap's now 1.3. Sun's gone in. Again, the tenth there by using second gear. Don't hit that rev limiter, David. Right, we need draft. The gap in front is now 1.1. Tyler's lost Barry's draft. Great out of that final turn. We always gain a tiny bit on there, but we lose it on that last turn. It's going to be killing his front tyres, walking up all the time, which is good for us. The closer we get, the more draft we get. So hopefully we might get a chance at an overtake at some point. Point seven the gap. Sector one is not point five off the pace. Sector two time is quick. Sector three is not point three off the pace. Broken to the forty nines, thankfully. But it's easy now to push down a little bit too much and make a mistake. Big frame drop there. What's the tenth or so, I think? The gap in front is now point six. 
Barry's dropped off a little bit for some reason. Try and keep the pressure on. Three more laps. Okay. Did he save it? No, he didn't save it. Did we get a forex? Did we touch him? We must have done. <laughs> and we uh, we got grounded on the curb as well. We beached. Well, we've, we've achieved our objective, which was P10. That was the objective after the spin on lap one, where we were dead last. Two more laps then after this one. Put me out my misery. performance on the run down to turn number one. It's horrendous. As in frames per second. I don't think it's dropping. Just just stuttering. Just doesn't feel great at all. just had a feeling Tyler looked like he'd saved his spin. I hope I didn't absolutely murder him. Because he's not even in the top 15 now, so he's obviously dead. We'll have to have a look at that. One more lap. I am relieved that this is the last lap. See if anything happens on this last lap. One more to go. Oh no, You've Tyler's in the pits there. You just said cheese, mate. We'll have a look. <laughs> See what happened. I obviously did touch him. Didn't even think I touched him. Oh, another off track, 12 incident points.
Well, if Tyler didn't spin, then we wouldn't have touched him at the end of the day. I mean, let's say it as it is. It's all right saying thank you to me. He's the one that lost control of his car. That's a new fastest lap for Jansen, 148.7. Got plenty of fuel left, 2.2 .2 litres of fuel left. We obviously saved a bit on the first few laps. We're stuck behind a couple of cars. Two really litres remaining. So we'll have a look at both of those incidents that we were involved in and see if we could have done anything differently. P10. Position. All okay, things considered, I think we'll take that. Right, let's have a look at this spin from Tyler. So it was a good save to be fair. But then yeah, we clipped his rear end. But I don't know where he wanted me to go. So if you look at it from my onboard here, he's spinning pointing to the left. So I'm not going to go left, I'm going to go right. And then I move over onto the car. I mean, I could have gone off track. But I didn't think he would start sliding back towards the right-hand side. And we just glanced him. But in real time, it all happened so quick. He's going left. No, he isn't. And regarding the other incident, well, we just got unlucky. This guy just lost it on entry to the turn. Just trying to be a little bit too greedy. And just caught my rear end. So there were two splits for this race. This was the top split, strength of field, 2,995. So we lost a huge chunk of safety rating, 0.65. But thankfully, we only lost three I rating. So Bart got the win, Mex P2 and Oscar P3. We finished P10, car number seven, started P11. Our fastest lap, a 49.8. 1.1 seconds off the fastest lap of the race. 12 incident points. So who was the biggest winner? I think it's going to be Bart who won the race. He gained 78. And the biggest loser is going to be Thomas Anger, who retired after a couple of laps. He lost 137. So there we go. After all that, we finished P10. And to be honest, all things considered, I'll take it. I'm not happy that we lost that huge chunk of safety rating, but 3i rating... In a car that we're not really good in. So in the first nine weeks, we were plus 316 I rating. We take the three off that we lost today. So overall, after 10 weeks, we are up 313 I rating. But what we're going to be racing next week, well, who knows? But there's one thing for certain. It's not going to be the F3. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great week. Keep it pinned. <laughs>